Welcome to Master. In this video, we would like to introduce about the IEC 62443 cybersecurity feature from Woomaster. And this is our agenda. The first one is about the major threat cybersecurity in industrial network. Because of the development from trend of IoT, a lot of devices are connected to the internet and leading to some security issues. So, there were so many businesses are increasingly demanding cybersecurity. And second one, in this video we will mention what is the standard defines about. And also what is Woomaster cybersecurity solution as well as our strengths. As far as the IEC 62443 standard is concerned, nowadays most vendors in the industrial network are compliant to level 2. And of course, Woomaster is better because we are beyond level 2 that meets the level 3 or level 4 requirements. For what kind of feature that we had to support level 3 or level 4 will be introduced in this section. Furthermore, in order to obtain cybersecurity IEC 62443 certification, in the last part of this video, we will briefly introduce about our product development and what we did and what will we do in the future. There were so many cases about cyber attack that happened in this world. In this presentation, I would like to give several examples about the cyber security attack. The first one is Stuxnet, the world's first virus in the industrial automation control system. Stuxnet is the first program designed to cause serious damage in the physical world, has hit an unknown number of power plants, pipelines, and factories over the past year start from 2009. In 2010, Bashar nuclear plant in Iran has been infected by this virus. It caused 20% centrifuge broken and more than 45,000 network devices were infected. How Stuxnet did it? First, the malicious computer worm probably entered the computer system which is normally cut off from the outside world via USB memory stick. This virus is controlled from Denmark and Malaysia with the help of two IP addresses that register to this false name. Then it infected 100,000 computers around the world. The Stuxnet spreads through the system until it finds computers running Siemens control software which is responsible for regulating the rotational speed of the centrifuges. The computer worm varies the speed that can destroy the centrifuges and impair uranium enrichment. The second case is from Ukraine, which has attacked the power system that caused over 1.4 million people encounter power outage for three hours. The cyber attack was complex. Prior compromise of corporate networks using spear piercing email with black energy malware. Then it sees SCADA under control, remotely switching substantially off. After that, it attacked by disabling or destroying its infrastructure components and also destruct files stored on servers and workstations with the kill this malware. The last thing, it is using denial of service attack on call center to deny consumers up to date information on the blackout. From these two cases, we can know how important the cybersecurity in this world is. As we talk about till now, all are the land based cybersecurity, but how about the WAN side? How could we provide the security management from remote side? In the industrial application, the distance between the control centers to each field site is quite far, and it will need the remote control and management. 
Thus, the secure remote access is important. From the viewpoint of industrial cybersecurity, all the egress connection to the field sites that all need security protected such as VPN tunnel. Also, it needs a DMZ area for the public server such as DNS or web server. For the WAN security protection, we have firewall and VPN server that can do the both external and internal protection. Later, we will explain more about what firewall policy we supported for both on internal and ex external. This part is mainly to show you how the VPN server from remote site to provide the data encryption and dynamic remote access. We provide the IPsec and OpenVPN to make sure the data between LAN and WAN are secure and encrypted. And for the IPsec and OpenVPN, we support multiple networks. Like a hybrid network, the VPN connection can from public to LAN with the secure authentication. Generally, the firewall all is the policy base, but we support a stateful inspection firewall. It can monitor the state of the connection all the time. If the connection is failed or not exists, the connection will be dropped. In addition, in our firewall, you can make the firewall policy not only for both incoming and outgoing package, which can be accessed and which need to drop, but also can indicate IPMAC, TCP UDP, or even the industrial protocols such Ethernet IP and Modbus. This section is about the main threats in the industrial application environment. The topology below is a typical topology of the industrial network. That you can see here, there is a firewall. And in this part, we will explore more about the scope of the security in the LAN firewall. Actually, there are five main threats here. The first one is unauthorized access, where access to the device without authorization when someone gains access to a website, program, server, service, or other system using someone else's account or other methods. For example, if someone kept guessing a password or username for an account that was not theirs until they gain access it is considered unauthorized access. In the transmission side of unsafe data transmission, sometimes important information is not encrypted. The next one is about the incomplete event log. In the network, what event that happened, what kind of user that log in, and when user log in, and what kind of anything else that happened before. These are important information in network security. And also, human error. Human error here is about not lead to proper precautions to prevent the setting is not set. It leads to cybersecurity vulnerabilities. In common understanding from cybersecurity, a new device is easier to attack cybersecurity. But in fact, industrial devices are more than decayed devices. But cybersecurity protection may not be considered before. Either software or hardware itself, it's not good protection. So the existing equipment, it is also a threat. Maybe you might ask, could I upgrade my old device to cybersecurity to software upgrade? Maybe it can be updated on the software side, but in cybersecurity, software protection is not enough. We'll see later, we are through what kind of solutions to achieve the overall level of cybersecurity protection. As I mentioned earlier, in response to the trend of IIoT, more and more devices are connected to the internet that leading to the cybersecurity threat. 
and the proportion of cybersecurity attacks is getting higher. IEC 62443 for the network architecture put forward the different parties have different responsibilities. For example, if you are the asset owner or SI, then you have to assume that role should have the responsibility. The main purpose is to control the security vulnerabilities and to prevent the attack. Here you can see if the asset owner need to pay attention to eight points, which is terminology and concept, master glossary, system security compliance metric, uh, industrial automation and control system security life cycle and use case, and also the requirements for an IACS security management system, implementation guidance, patch management, and installation and maintenance. In addition, the system integrators should pay attention to security technologies for uh, industrial automation and control system, then the security levels for zones conduits, system security requirements and label. And the last thing is about the component supplier, which is the last scope that consists of product development requirements that refers to the software development considerations such as software maintenance to follow what kind of standard and what is the development process SOP and also the other point is about the technical security requirement for industrial automation and control system components that refers to the what safety standards are met by the equipment and this point will be mentioned after the slide. Just mentioned before about the technical security requirements for industrial automation and control system components. This point is more relevant to us and it points for levels of protection which is at uh, the level 1 refers to the occasional visits and level 2 refers to the system integrator point of view and it experienced the most attacks and for level 3 refers to the malicious restructuring and with the special tools to attack for example it will first search tool to see your port state and then against your open port to attack And later, we will introduce our uh, protection tools such as IP source card, dynamic ARP inspection, DSCP snooping, and these methods is to protect from the attacks. For the following is level two parts, which is the larger brands in the general industry, and they emphasize that they have the support function. The main function probably contains user account and then delete and add and what kind of permission uh, we use and so on. Or use control. For example, you can enter the wrong password several times to prevent those who want to try to access. As mentioned earlier, although the old equipment can achieve the cybersecurity protection through the firmware upgrade. The complete cybersecurity solution still requires software and hardware to achieve the complete cybersecurity protection. Here are the red mark part of the software with the hardware ASIC way to protect, such as VLAN, quality of service, port security for the level 2 protection and for the level 3 and level 4 part such as IP source card, dynamic ARP inspection, DHCP snooping, DOS and DDoS. The combination between software with ASIC hardware providing the most complete solution to prevent malicious attacks. Then our ASIC can see 128 bytes of the line from the packet. 
which means that from layer 2 to layer 7 packets can be parsed and can be classified. For example, what IP or what MAC address can access. Do we need to drop it or pass it or it can through the SIC to the control? Some manufacturers just do the software protection which means the CPU protection because the CPU has an upper limit so when the attack appear it will consume CPU performance. If subjected to those such attacks it may be killed the CPU. When the CPU was killed many services cannot be used such as HTTP, Telnet, SNMP and other management services cannot be used. It can be seen from this table. There are companies that do level 3 or level 4. It's just few. Mostly based on level 2. Few means that only a few models or high-end models have. We have a small part number of models also provide such protection to ensure that the actual industry environment, the entire ring is safe, not because of the small number of ports the device is not supported, resulting in a loophole. In the cybersecurity part of the Rajcom side is quite adequate to do. But like Western Mall, here is almost no, even in the DOS part. It only supports software SSL TLS certification, which the actual DOS protection is still a gap.